Yo, 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 what's up guys, back again with me Mato. Today's video, I'm gonna show you of this process graphic this design with manipulated images using Photoshop. This is the result of my practice in the previous week. Because it's very easy and simple to make it, I figured why not to share this whole process for you. And if you're wondering about this process, today's video is going to be about that. Let's go. Alright, first of all, let's talk about the concept. Actually, the concept of this design is pretty simple. I'm going to play with a pack of cigarettes and replace the pile of cigarettes with a few rolls of dollars. I'm going to add random elements that are purely for aesthetic purpose, and then add texture and a few small details like text and icons to make it more stunning. I thought this would be cool to make a graphic T design. I will start by making the initial adjustment to sugar pack, but for now, let me start it a little bit. So, stay tuned. Alright, after I've made the proper adjustment to the rolls, I put in some of element in it to make some of partition into composition design. I use perspective warp for make this look proportional and tune into the composition. By the way, I put the download link for all these images in the description. And again, I'm gonna speed it up this process a little bit. Let's go. Alright, I think I've got perfect composition into my design. Now, let's make it way better and proper to roll dollars for fit and right proportion into the pack cigarettes. I select all the dollars layers and group it into a folder. Then, duplicate the folder and merge all these layers based select convert to smart object. Now, I make selection by pen tool to get the precisely selection to my object and repeat the process for the another one. Okay, after tweaking the image combination and a talk, this will be cool to become my basic composition in this design. Let's move on to the next step. I'm going to add a shadow to make it more lively and dimensional. Usually I use the brush tool with a little bit of black to make a soft shadow and spread it in some part of the design area. And if you follow me and go through at this process, take your time and enjoy it. It takes a lot of time but it can be worthy for outcome results.
I'll write to the final touch up for make this design more cool. Let's add some of my grungy texture of it. And actually, I added all this stuff just want to get extra detail so it will look more perfect when I see this design in the end. Move on to the next step, let's add some of text and icons into this design for aesthetic purpose obviously. Now you will see me start a little bit, so stay tuned. Alright guys, I got the perfect adjustment to the design and honestly the result is so amazing. It's so clean and simple with minimalistic touch. I'm really happy with it. So let's put it into my premium black shirt mockup to display it my design and see if I'll be quite satisfied with the end result. Let's go. Alright guys, so that is all for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. I'll be uploading another video later this week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes. Thanks for watching my video. See you on the next one. Peace.